Hey, what's up, guys? Nick White here. I do tech and coding stuff on Twitch and YouTube. Check the description for all my information. I do the premium link code problems on my Patreon. If you want to reach out to me, you can join my Discord. Message me. I try and get back to everyone. This is uh, valid parentheses. Can't believe I didn't do this. I did do a, uh, this problem on a whiteboard on uh, my channel. If you want to check that out, it's called Bracket Match. But um, I didn't do the leak code one. So a lot of likes. Very, very famous problem. Uh, it is the, you know, basically the staple for any stack problem. And uh, there's a lot of complicated problems that um, are based on this basic idea. So given a string containing just the characters, uh, opening, closing parenthesis, opening curly brace, closing curly brace, opening bracket, closing bracket, determine if the input string is valid. An input string is valid if uh, opening brackets are matched by the same type of closing bracket. So an opening parenthesis has to be matched with a closing parenthesis, not a closing curly brace. Opening brackets must be closed in the correct order. So they have to be ordered properly. Uh, let's look at some examples and understand it a little bit better. This is obviously correct. Opening uh, parenthesis, closing parenthesis, um, very standard. This is also correct. They are separate, so that's fine. You could have them separate and next to each other as long as it's opening, then closing, opening, closing, and they're the same type. These aren't the same type of brackets, so it's wrong. These aren't the, these, this is for sure wrong. Um, you can nest them, so you can nest the braces like this, and you can also have them next to each other, but you cannot have them like this. You have to have the closing um, you have to, uh, this in this example, the closing brace would have to be to the left of this opening bracket. You can't have them, you know, intersecting. That's what I meant to say. So that's the whole thing. So like I said, this is the staple for stack problems. We get this string. We're obviously going to loop through it, first of all. Uh, one thing you could check really quick if you like is you'll notice that since the, it's about pairs, the string will always be even when uh, it is valid. It has to be even. Um, so if you want to check that, we could do that really quick. If s.length uh, mod 2 is uh, not equal to 0, we could just return false. You know, that's not valid because it has to be an even number of characters, right? So there's even braces. Uh, you don't have to do that, but. Um, then we could loop through the string, so we could do s.2 char array, just a character by character loop, um, and we could have a stack of characters, call it stack, very original. And what we'll do is, uh, you could do a switch statement if you like those. I'm going to do if else's here, to uh, if, if else if to... Uh, just for anyone who's not, you know, that great at switch statements. So, if the current character is equal to an opening brace, or the current character is equal to an opening, you know, whatever the other one is, curly brace, um, or, oops, the character is equal to a, um, what are we looking at? Closing, I mean, opening, uh, bracket then that's fine we'll just push those onto the stack that's the idea here um yeah so just push it onto the stack and else if the current character is equal to a closing brace so a closing parenthesis so what the idea here is you push opening brackets onto the stack and when you see a closing brace the closing brace um, the top of the stack better be the corresponding opening one. So we're pushing this, we push this opening one onto the stack. Let, let's do this one first. We push an opening one onto the stack. Now we see a closing one. We check the top of the stack. If it is this, then we're good to go. We just pop it off the stack and that's it. Same here. Opening goes onto the stack. Closing, pop this off the stack. Opening onto the stack. Closing, pop it off the stack. In this case, Opening onto the stack, opening onto the stack, closing, better be the matching corresponding one, pop it off the stack, closing, pop this one off the stack. Uh, that's why it's a great stack problem, because, um, yeah, so if it's a closing brace, you want to check that the stack is not empty, so if the stack is not empty, and um, stack 
dot peak is equal to the corresponding opening one. So you want to make sure the top of the stack is the exact right type. Then we do stack dot pop. And yeah, we just repeat this for each of the different braces. So we have that uh, curly brace, and you can do this with a switch statement, like I said, if you like to do that. Opening curly brace, opening uh, bracket. And uh, the stack should be all empty at the end if this uh, went according to plan. So all we have to do is return that. If the stack dot is empty, then we had a valid parenthesis string. Everything was matched up great. And uh, should be good to go. There you go. So that's it. Um, yeah, if you want, uh, if you have any questions, please ask me in the comments below. I think I explained it pretty well, pushing openings onto the stack. The best part of a stack, if you don't know how it works, is it's like pancakes. The last, it's LIFO, last in, first out. So the last thing you put onto the stack is going to be the first thing you pop out. And peak is to just get the top of the stack. Um... And uh, if you wanted to look at some other people's solutions, um, that one was really good. But, uh, you know, there's there's one like this. It's basically all the same thing. Um, this one pushes the closing ones on. And then, uh, you know, it'll check for them later. It pushes only closing ones on. And then it checks, okay, if the character isn't equal to the closing one we pushed on, that's wrong. There's ones with switch statements, like I said, as well. Um, this is similar to the one I just did. Oh, this is literally the one I just did. Okay. Um, very close. Holy crap. Uh, only thing is they don't do the even string part. Um, you know, this is a switch one, so don't want to keep you here too long, but just you can look through them. If you are, uh, still don't understand, ask me a question, reach out to me, try to get this all cleared up for you. But thank you guys for watching. I uh, really appreciate anyone that watches my videos. Uh, you know, leave a like if you want. I think that might even help me with the algorithm. I'm not a big YouTube algorithm person, so I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. But um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.